Hi, this is Trace HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our November 2019 tarot reading. And this will be for the sign of Virgo. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light things, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a very serious month for you. We start out with the Judgment card, okay? And this Judgment card is a very beautiful card. And what this is telling me is at the beginning of the month, okay, this is going to be some type of a reward coming your way, some type of previous seeds you've planted, something you've been putting a lot of work into, you're going to feel renewed. This is like a rebirth, okay? This is like a phoenix rising from the ashes, okay? This person is rising. Their feet are not on the ground. These angels are holding the legs and helping them up. And I like the fact that she has her hands in prayer. So it's telling me that some of you out there have been praying for something to change praying for this rebirth, praying for this renewal. Things have been really rough for a lot of the astrology signs this year, myself included. I'm a Gemini and things have just been so rough since last November. It's It's been a full year now where finally things seem to be balancing out and settling down. But I'll tell you, it's been a rough 12 months and I've done a lot of praying myself. And this is telling me here that, you know, you're going to feel like you're going to have a new beginning and you're going to rise from those ashes, okay, and all that you've been through. So what a beautiful card to start the month out with. And then we have in the middle of the month, the seven of wands. Now, of course, we know <laughs> we're being rebirthed. There could be some people coming up against us. Maybe we're deciding to live a different type of lifestyle, take a new path. But wouldn't you know it, it it's not going to be worried about this card, okay? This card is, is a, a card that's just telling you that, you know, you might be challenged. Some of your beliefs or ideas or your lifestyle or path may be challenged by someone in the middle of the month. And is it, isn't that always how it is? So you're feeling rebirthed, renewed, revitalized. You're, you're, you're having better luck. Things are looking up for you. And then you have these people, okay, and they're holding these swords, but you're above them, okay? He's standing up here. These people are down below. You don't even see them. You just see their wands sticking up. And he has uh, his armored thing here where he's defending himself. But have no fear because there's this angel here in the upper right corner. And that angel's watching over him. That means you have a whole spiritual realm watching over you as you dis defend yourself and stand your ground. Okay, so it may be a little difficult in the middle of the month, but the most important thing here is to remain calm and have confidence in yourself. Okay, you possess the courage and the strength to stand up for what you believe in, and you may just need to do that in the middle of the month. Some people don't want to see us progress. Some people don't want to see us revitalized and, and reborn and rebirthed, you know, so expect this. And then at the end of the month, okay, we have the five of pentacles. Now the five of pentacles, okay, has these people out in the cold. There's a beautiful church in the background. It looks like there's snow on the ground. Okay. But this five of pentacles energy at the end of the month, it's, it's a warning to not allow yourself to feel this way. These people are falling prey to lack mentality. OK, maybe whatever is going on here that has taken a lot of your strength has you feeling drained at the end of the month. OK, but whatever this this hardship is, or this energy at the end of the month, it's temporary. OK, it's possible that maybe you're feeling like you're lacking money or resources for whatever it is you want to do. But do not worry about it. I mean, we all feel at this, you know, this way at some point in our lives where we, we start thinking that negative thinking, that lack mentality, that how am I going to do this? This isn't going to work out. Don't allow yourself to fall prey to this. Okay. Whatever happens at the end of the month is just a temporary thing that we all go through. Okay. Um, but this also for some of you uh, may be a sign not to 
you know, it's not a good time to enter into any new financial commitments or agreements, okay, and to be cautious. So maybe you're going into a partnership with someone and, or maybe someone's wanting to borrow money from you at the end of the month. It could be something as simple as that, okay? It may be just a warning to pay careful attention to your, you know, finances so you can guard yourself against, you know, loss. It's not a time to be, you know, out shopping or indulging or partaking in retail therapy like we all do. So it's just whatever this is, it's temporary. And it's probably just a feeling that you're going to get in your head because after dealing with whatever is going on here in the middle of the month, of course, you're going to be tired. And when we're tired, we're, we're feeling down on our luck. We're feeling a little negative. Uh, don't allow that to happen because don't forget, you're, you're reborn. You're rising from the ashes. People may come up against you, opposition, fight for your your beliefs, stand with your courage. And like I said, at the end of the month, do not allow lack mentality or anything that anyone may say to you to make you feel, you know, like you're lacking in any way, because that's absolutely not true. What a very interesting month for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and like it, share the video, and of course, subscribe to my channel because I will be back.